dear friends welcome back to acv gardening and today i am very much happy to introduce with you with the great great hybridizer of rose mr and mrs ghos this is the frame name mr and mrs ghos as you know the world famous hybridizer of rose that is mr and mrs ghos the name of this rose is headliner this is headliner it is headliner hmm. it is a british rose and i am trying to pollinate this with another rose okay and this is mother this will be mother okay first early in the morning yeah this petals should be removed early means within 9 9 o'clock yeah. possibly it will be removed so time it is uh, about for temperature only na no? not so only temperature temperature and light intensity yeah. So mm. it will it will differ uh, country to country, place to place. Mm. Not only that, it means in the early morning the temperature should be within 15 to 25 degree centigrade. Okay. Acha. That time early in the morning, this is the let me identify the this is anatomy of the rose. Huh. This person, it is female. It is called stigma. This like this, and this outer ring, this is stamen or male organ. Male organ. You know, the rose is bisexual. That means both male and female in the same flower. Then what I do? It's a forceps to make it mother. It is father is here, mother is here. To make it fully mother, I shall remove this. Stamens. This is. I can save also this in the preserver for future use. Now, for another pollinator. For another pollinator, another day. I am removing this portion. These are all male part. Male part. This is stamen, and the head is called anther. And here this is the pollen grain, very fine, microscopic. Mm. Yes. This is stamen, and this this is anther, this one, and here plenty of microscopic pollen there. Usually, which uh, take place uh, by nature. Uh, ah, by by nature. Uh, By nature, honey, honey, honey bees and butter, butterflies recite the, the flower. Uh, they, the, you know, this rose has got no nectar, means raw honey. Mm. It has got only the pollen. Pollen. They come to feed on the pollen and carry it to, as building material as well as for infant and baby food. Mm. The, the, uh, Any bees, they are very plenty of myriads of a small hairy body, and these pollens are carried with this. After that, and in that time, these pollens are smeared here in the by the bees. So during this removing, uh, should not. Uh, This uh, male uh, part should not touch with female. No, that is why before this, man, male part is mature. Okay. In, uh, before it's mature, it should be removed. It is just going to it be is, mature. It is now pre-mature stage. Uh, slightly, slightly. Mm -hmm. After one hour, uh, this is useless because pollen will ripe and the pollen grain will fall out it by gravity mm -hmm. and carried by the bees. Mm -hmm. Now it is fully female. Fully female. Normally, what I do, I cover it, 
why to keep away the honeybees and unwanted pollination and, right and to prevent drying of the stigma is there this packet is there hmm. this is sealed like thing and so viewers uh, this uh, packaging is required for unwanted pollination because <laughs> right, already right. Uh, what has done uh, to restrict the uh, um, uh, artificial pollination what happens after the after an hour or two huh, i shall pollinate it i am i have got plenty of pollen here hmm. so is it your uh, pollen bank right right i am preserving it there so and it will be uh, active my pollen will be alive for two uh, weeks two weeks only hmm. so uh, preserved at a temperature of 7 degrees centigrade okay hmm. so viewers uh, the question is here uh, if you are getting uh, male part or male uh, stigma uh, uh, female stigma and male uh, stamen, stamen. Hmm. so uh, you can keep it uh, for 14 days uh, to make your uh, pollination plant pollination uh, so that uh, and uh, you can call it hmm. uh, pollen bank hmm. pollen actually bank. pollen bank i got uh, i saw a rose annual of Australian Rose Society where I came to the award. They keep this early plucked pollens in low temperature. The member, whoever they are, they may want a rose pollen which is not in his garden at that time. Okay. So they borrow it and use it. Okay. Like that, I want also keeping this pollen. Oh. This, is, this is the Papa Mila. Papa Mila Very and, scented. and uh, here the uh, name also mentioned yeah. which and pollen uh, and data plucking yeah what okay. is Diana Princess of Wales 15th is just plucked 15th one yeah. so 15th of January 2023 mm -hmm. uh, this pollen has been collected and kept it as a pollen bank yeah. well, it is piece up there it will, uh, it will be allowed for two weeks minimum. Two weeks minimum. Because I may not uh, get that particular pollen on that particular date. Mm, it will be very useful. Yeah. Mm. So, if you are uh, planning to uh, pollinate uh, this flower, you may not get uh, male uh, pollen today itself. On that particular day. On the that particular, particular um, pollen may not be available in my garden. Exactly. So, it so will you can uh, use it and you can uh, collect it uh, prior to the date also. You see how it is transferred here. In the copy book, it is called that this pollen should be collected with a brush and smeared here. Okay. But in practice, if your hand is clean, then you can do it with your thumb and finger both your finger here i am showing you this is the practical thing and this is collected uh, male pollen pollen on two days earlier mm. Mm. i take it like that just you have to do uh, touch it on the female uh, part this female part is mature when there will be a shiny appearance to uh, fix the pollen grains or when um, in the in your garden when bees and butterflies uh, hover to collect pollens that will be time or you can make it from 8 to 12 okay. in the uh, winter it will be longer maybe 12 maybe one to even even and in summer it will be as early as 8 or 8.30 or 8.9 yeah. So, which uh, period uh, should be uh, the better uh, for pollination? Best, best is average temperature 18 degree 18 and degree. It's, say 12 degree minimum and maximum in, is 25 degree and avoid any cloudy day, rainy day or windy day 
that about this. Then it is again covered. Otherwise, bees will come and spoil my job. You know, cover it. This uh, petal will uh, will be here. Will be here. Next day, I shall remove the petals and remove this packet. Okay. We'll cover. This is the this is the protection. One day, one day sufficient. One, day. one day is sufficient. Even for a few hours, it will be many. Uh, um, Pollinated will be done within few seconds. Hmm. It is only for further some stray pollen, stray stamen may be there here and there with the swaying of air. And each, you see, this <laughs> these stigmas. Each, this is the one, two, three like that. It is a potent seed. It will make a seed. So, so many seeds will be there technically, but in practice, about eight or nine seeds are available. Hmm. At that time, this portion over it will swell. I'll hmm. make a fruit. Hmm. Here, see you. Hmm. This make this one is fruit. fruit. This fruit has a special name. Hep H E P P. H E P hip. All these are fruit. Ah. Rose fruit. You ah. can say rose fruit. Yeah, rose fruit. The other is also. So, each fruit uh, you will get ten to twelve. Uh, no, maximum fifteen. Even one, two, three, four, like any any yeah. number, any number. Maximum uh, yeah. fourteen, fifteen. Yes, that's all. Huh. And this uh, hip will ripe within five or six months. So one question is there: uh, When we can understand hmm. the fruit is matured? That is, the color will change. It will be either yellow or red, and the stalk will start drying. Okay. That is it. Time. So this stalk will uh, show you the dye, dye, uh, dye, stock, dying position. dying position, and the fruit will be uh, changed into yellow or pink or uh, brown. Uh, brown, red, red. Anything. Any any uh, this four, hmm. so any color, uh, then we can understand the fruit is mature. Hmm. Then we will pluck this fruit, right? And this particular fruit is not; it is naturally made. naturally made. made. Uh, so it is, it is not required for us. No, no, it is only for demonstration. I am doing this. Ah, yeah. uh, if you cut it. Plenty of green, unripe fruits are there. Mm. Huh. Uh, yeah. uh. Unwanted. Uh. Unwanted pollination has done. Uh, this uh, is called OP, open pollination. Open pollination. Uh, or natural pollination. Natural pollination. Or this is a headliner. I can if if this thing is available in ripe condition, I can do some experiment also to this. It is called headliner into UK means unwanted. Mm. UK means unknown. Unknown uh, or open pollination. Open open pollination. Open pollination. Correct. There are some roses, good roses ah. came from open pollination. Open pollination and those are named as a unwa unknown un non variety. Mm. Unknown variety. Mm. Mm. So all these are unknown variety. If you will get uh, seeds from this uh, mm -hmm. uh, fruit. Ah. You will get unknown variety. Unknown variety. Unknown means it is only be this mother's name mother's first, name. Ah. then into on the cross mm. uh, unknown mm. or op or secondary growth. Secondary. Uh, viewers, uh, you, you you can uh, I think you will get understand as all uh, we have discussed uh, the three part. Uh, first part is pollination. Second part is. Uh, uh, to store it uh, or uh, you can say uh, what it is uh, it's germination uh, germination uh, hmm. last part is germination stratification, uh, stratification. second stage is stratification yes, second stage that is means stati storing of the seeds storing of this seeds hmm. so germination already we have uh, done uh, hmm. uh, sir will show you the stratification hmm. or how you can preserve it Huh. So preservation, 
part uh, we will show you in the next part so let's this, this is uh, labeled headliner uh, yeah, yeah. headliner you have a, to a, make a, it uh, label hdl headliner short form and papa papa mila papa mila hmm. papa so a, male and female uh, female name will be the first first, first. and second uh, will come father's hmm. name father's name right is called acceptor and uh, donor donor uh, or another thing the my seed parent is headliner headliner and so mother is headliner yeah and pollen uh, pollen parent is um, papa mila papa mila or hmm. you can this is say the, this headliner hdl into papa everything should be noted carefully in a notebook or diary for reference is very very useful so this will be your uh, another uh, variation or another number so already i have told you that uh, sir has done already 1500 plus uh, variety he has made from seedling from yes yeah, seedlings more than 1500 seedlings yeah. so far then comes the preservation of seed preservation of seed which is more important because <laughs> this preservation uh, you have done uh, with a miracle discovery <laughs> it can be done in the room hmm. yeah. next part